What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, Code Room, and I'm back with another video. And today, I'm going to be making a 3D house in Godot. So make sure you all like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers, so your subscription is much appreciated. And with all that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright, so the first thing I did was establish a base which everything would be placed on. And I scaled it up to give it more size. <music> then I added a second platform to fit my mesh. Not sure why I put it there, but it's there. Now this is the part where I started to work on the house itself. I got a third big square, made it extra big, and then I put it on top of everything else I had made. Then I started to work on the roof. For this, I got a big prism, or a triangle for all you simple folk out there, and I placed it on top of the box I did earlier. So now that I had the basic shape for my house, I moved on to making the windows. I already had two done here, so the rest would be pretty easy. And towards the end, I added a door in the front, or known by all those who take it, the front door. So since I had most of the exterior stuff out the way, I started working on the material texture. For this, I used a wood planks texture. Next, I started working on the roof and the chimney. I got this nice roof tile texture, and I also used that same texture for the chimney. Then I added a smaller square to the top of it. Then I added another CSG box and put it on subtraction mode to create an opening for the smoke to come out. Yeah, it's like a wise gritty, I mean Grizzly once said, we don't duck up the chimney or we don't run up the smoke or something like that. <laughs> So for the smoke, I just did it how I did the pizza. Go check out that video to see what I'm talking about. I turned it gray, then made it transparent. Next, I worked on the frames that would be in the windows. I just got two lines going vertical and horizontal, and then I had to go through the tedious task of placing them in each window. You know, from now on, whenever I'm making windows, I should just make it all and then duplicate it. So after that, I did some work in the scene tree, and I gave each frame the same texture that I gave the house. Then I worked on a way to give the window some transparency. I gave it a material texture, then turned the sub mode on add, and then I had to do this for every window. Now at this portion I did a little bit of messing around. I wanted to add an inside, but I was only working on the exterior, so it got really awkward. Well, I had more to do with the way I did the windows. The frames just didn't look right. But I'll leave this portion of the video in for fun. Then I got to work on the front door. Not gonna say too much here, because it was pretty basic and simple to understand. So yeah, this is the finished project. I added a world environment and some other minor things. It's a pretty cool scene, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. And while you're down there, subscribe. Comment what videos you want to see next, and don't worry, I'm gonna get to all of them, or at least I hope so. This video is crazy long, so I gotta go now. Have a great rest of your day, and I'm out of here.